Our project finance model will have to incorporate four events, which are financial close, construction, construction completion, and operations. At the financial close, the construction debt and equity become available for the drawdown, and this is when we begin the construction of the renewable energy project. During the construction period, we draw on the construction debt and equity, and we build our renewable energy asset. At the construction completion, we refinance our construction loan into the term loan and we begin our operations. Then, during the operations period, the project generates revenue, incur operating costs, repays the term loan, and pays the dividends. At the top of each sheet in our Excel model, we will have the end of period dates, which will indicate the current period's end date. Our model will be a quarterly model, therefore, we will have the end of the quarter as the end of the period date. Then, we will have a timeline, which will indicate the stage we are at in our model, whether it is pre-financial close stage, financial close stage, construction or operation stage. We will assign the colors to the timeline to visually assist us to identify the stage we are at in the model. Then, we will have the year we are in. The project timeline has the sole purpose of assisting us to navigate through the model. During the modeling process, we can spot the errors easier than if we did not have such a timeline. For the model user, who did not build the model, it will also be easier to audit the model and to work with the model, if the model has a timeline. We will build the timeline by means of the binary flags. The flag will return the value of 1 or 0, and that is why it is called a binary flag. The outcome is binary. It is either 1 or 0. The flag will return the value of 1 if something is happening, and 0 if that something is not happening. We'll be using the combination of if, and, or and date functions to build the flags. We will have different types of flags in our model. There are flags for a particular date, which will mark the particular date when the event is happening. There are flags for a particular period, which will return the value of one for several dates. And there are flags that mark the events before or after a particular date. Let's review how we would model a flag and what would be the benefit of a flag in the financial model. Here, we have an excerpt from our model. On top, we have the end of quarter dates. Then we have the timeline, and finally, year. Assume that the revenue in our model should be 100. Let's highlight this assumption with yellow color. The question is, how we would model this revenue number of 100? Remember, on top we have the timeline, and in the row below the timeline, our number should tell us the same story as the timeline. So, this means that we cannot have a 100 in the cells under the construction period, because during the construction, our renewable energy project is not operational yet. We can hard code the revenue number of 100 into the cells during the operation period. Obviously, the hard coding would break all the rules out there in financial modeling. We could also simply link to our assumption cell, but this too would break the best practice modeling rules, as this would mean having different formulas in two adjacent cells on the same row, in the cells in the construction period and the cells in the operations period. We could insert if function in the cells and impose a condition to link to the assumption cell only when the year is greater than 2019, and this would do the trick. However, this is a very inflexible solution, and we cannot reuse this formula in other places in our model. So, here we can benefit from creating a flag. The operations flag can be created by using a simple if function, saying if the year is greater than 2019, then give me 1, otherwise give me 0. We will get zero in cells during the construction period and one during the operation period. We will then simply multiply our revenue assumption by the flag to give us the revenue projections. First, the operations are transparent. Our revenue projections are simply assumption times the flag. When the flag is zero, we get zero, and when the flag is one, we get our revenue. Second, we can reuse our operations flag elsewhere, for example, to model the operations costs or depreciation expense, and so on and so forth. There are many other events, such as an upfront fee that has to be paid at the financial close. We can easily and flexibly model it by using the flags. We will need to model the construction debt drawdown, which happens during the construction period. Again, we will use flag. So, you can see that whenever we have a question, when will something happen, we will use a flag to answer that question.